So I had a crew of five, standard uh, loader, commander, gunner, and then driver and uh, bow, uh, bow, oh, sorry, um, bow, bow gunner uh, slash radio operator. Um, armor. It had 100 mils of armor on the uh, front, well sloped. Uh, mm, yep. Um, Good and uh, around uh, 40, 40 to uh, 45, 48 mils on the sides. Let's talk about the side armor, shall we? <laughs> and, but it, was, it had good frontal protection. It was basically how they uh, managed to keep the weight of this tank down, whereas the Tiger was much heavier and of a similar volume, um, being another 10 tons heavier. Uh, so they, they put all the armor at the front. Yeah, I mean, Tiger was a breakthrough tank, so it was designed to be taking fire from the sides, mm. and that and, and it definitely needed that strong armor. The Panther really was almost more a tank destroyer than a tank. Um, and as a result, it was meant to hide in ambush. Yeah, yeah. Not, um, yeah. <laughs> particularly where it was used best, where it functioned best, where it achieved was um, not charging at the enemy. It was uh, picking them off as they came across. Well, it was the designed to work with the with your uh, with your infantry, whereas your breakthrough tank breakthroughs the lines and goes by themselves to mm -hmm. uh, clear the gap for the infantry and engineers and uh, and medium tanks to come in along behind it. And that's what the Panther was uh, was designed for. Uh, it so happened to be 